Hi, my name is Jane Loft and welcome to uh, Four Blue. We are famous for our self-cleaning pools and we are the home of the Smart Pool. Um, one question I probably don't get off asked often enough until it's um, far uh, down the track in the design process is where the plant equipment or the pump and filters will be located. Um, we tend to forget about them. Uh, we concentrate on the design of the pool, which I can understand. But it is uh, fairly paramount that one, we allow enough room for them. Far too often uh, we find a lot of architects and builders that we end up with too small a space for the pump and plant equipment uh, to be housed in, which can create some hydraulic issues. And also far too often we find out that people um, or architects, consumers aren't skilled or educated enough in terms of our hydraulics and, um, to understand where they can go and where they won't need to be replaced in a couple of years because they've had to work too hard and cost the, con the client or the consumer money, which may be you. Um, so to illustrate to you, hopefully in this uh, early planning stage at the minute, um, uh, basically I'll put a section up on the, uh, on the whiteboard here and if, if this is our swimming pool, so this is all our pool, what this will really simply do is illustrate to you how far away from the pool the plant equipment can be and what height above and below the pool is a comfortable scenario for hydraulically for the plant and, equi plant and equipment, which is our pumps and filters, to be placed. So roughly this is our pool, um, plant and equipment can be located anywhere within this area. So for argument's sake, can be located at the bottom of the pool, that's our filter, that's our pump and it can also be located above the pool. What most people aren't aware of is that it can't be located far above the pool. So typically we'll go up to about 500 mil above the pool is our desired um, depth. So we call that one 0.5. And the depth that can go down is around about to the bottom of the pool, so around about 1.7. And that's our depth. So anywhere in here, it's comfortable enough for the pool to be located and it can be filtered. We probably, you wouldn't want to go any smaller than 50 mil pipe, um, but preferably you go up to an 80 mil pipe. And that just gives you a visual understanding of the difference of the water that those pipes can, um, can have flow through them. Obviously the bigger the pipe, the less velocity, the less friction, the less head, which means the pump works easier. So instead of getting a few years out of your $1,000 pump, you might get 10 years out of your thousand dollar pump. But maybe the sort of things that need to be considered at an early stage, because the last thing we want to do is go for a cheaper quote with a bigger pump and a smaller pipe work, and before you know it, in a couple of years, you're replacing pumps and filters and parts on your pool that's just continually costing you money. So we're aiming to do it right from the start, and that way, going forward, um, you'll have a much better, a much cheaper pool to operate and a more efficient and effective pool to operate. The other, the other question that we haven't answered just yet, we know we can go 1.7 below, 1.5 above, that's how far away. Typically we can go about 13 metres away from the pool, provided we're in this zone still. So if we're in this zone, we can go up to 13 metres away, we can be 0.5 above the pool, um, and obviously it diminishes the further away we get, the closer we want to get to the actual water level of the pool. So I hope that helps you. Um, if you have any questions around that, you can contact us through our our website, uh, obviously you're probably on there now, uh, through the contact page and we're happy to answer any questions. Thanks for stopping by and uh, be sure to check out our other videos that we have available on our news section or our blog. Cheers, baby.